بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته welcome back to another session of Quranic Arabic recitation with Tajweed rules in this session we will study these three words of Al Qaeda Al Nuraniya on page number twelve and this slide is just a reminder for transliteration purposes. So we are revisiting some of the principles that we have studied before. So the first one is um, we need to know the knowledge. We need to have the artic uh, knowledge of articulation points for each um, letter. The second one is we need to know the characteristics of each letter, a sifat of each letter. Uh, we have studied only a few of them so far, but we will study the rest in advanced level. The third one is um, the knowledge of rules, uh, rule or rules attached to individual letter because of its position in a word or words. Uh, the fourth one is um, exercising the tongue and a lot of repetition. So if we are given, for example, we are given a word and we have to apply these steps to make our uh, reading or recitation easy. So the first one is recognizing individual letter. So if you go to here, so individual, the first one is Arif, second one is Hamza, third one is Ba, and next one is Dal. And the final one is Alif. So we recognized individual letters. Step one. In step two, we recognize the harakat that are used. So the harakat would be, or the signs would be here. That's Fatha, Fatha, Fathatain. So we recognize the harakat. And the next one is we have to recognize uh, if. Uh, the letter letters uh, which letters are silent and which aren't uh, let's change the color okay do let's see so if you see here alif this is um, silent and uh, this one is not uh, ba is not silent dal is not silent and um, alif is silent so alif is silent hamza is not silent ba is not silent dal is not silent and alif is silent so we recognize those ones and the next one is we apply the rules um, that attach to individual letter we will study that in advanced level uh, apply the correct sifat so we have studied only a few of them one of them would be um, if the letter is heavy or light so we apply that, those rules and the rest we will study in advanced level uh, the next one is pronouncing each letter from its correct makhraj articulation point uh, and the other one would we can add is um, we count how many syllables are there. Uh, for example, here is a one ba two den. So there are three syllables in this word. So if we uh, manage to uh, implement these steps correctly, uh, then our recit our reading and recitation will be uh, very easy. These are not fixed rules, uh, you can add or subtract to it. Uh, these are just general guidelines uh, for um, recitation or reading the Arabic. So the first one, uh, first word we have is Tuan. Um, it has two syllables and this year is silent. So the first syllable is Tua Dhamma Tu. Tua is not silent and we have Dhamma on top of it. Tua Dhamma Tu. The maple. The second syllable is wow fathatin one, and this year is silent. Wow is not silent. It has fathatin. Wow fathatin one. Wow fathatin one. So now we combine these two syllables. We have to one, to one, to one, to one. So the next word we have is abasa. It has three syllables. And the first syllable is Ain Fatha'a. Ain is not silent, and we have Fatha on top of it. Ain Fatha'a. Ain Fatha'a. The next syllable we have is Ba Fatha Ba. And Ba is not silent, and we have uh, Fatha on top of it. Ba Fatha Ba. Ba Fatha Ba. So now we combine these two syllables. We have Aba. 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 So the next syllable we have is Sin Fathasa. Sin is not silent and we have Fatha on top of it. Sin Fathasa. Sin Fathasa. So now we combine these three syllables we have. Abasa. 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 
abasa. So the next word we have is adala, and it has three syllables. The first syllable is ain fatha. Ain is not silent, and we have fatha on top of it. Ain fatha. Ain fatha. The next syllable we have is dal fatha. Dal is not silent, and we have fatha on top of it. Dal fatha. Dal fatha. So now we combine these two syllables. We have ada. 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 So the third syllable we have is the lam fatha. Lam is not silent, and we have fatha. Lam fatha. Lam fatha. So now we combine these three syllables. We have ada la. Ada la. Ada la. Ada la. So the next three slides would be sounds only. Tawan. Tawan. طوان طوان عباسة 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 عدالة 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 so this is the end of this session. In next session we will practice those three words ten times to give you a practice inshallah. We will see you in next session. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.